Good morning. Welcome to the March 30th, 2023 meeting for the Dixon County Commission. Would you please stand and join in the flag salute? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today we have two items to add to the agenda. One is a bid from Ebert Construction on a bridge. And then also the second item will be electrical work uh, to be done at the highway department. I would move that we go ahead and add those two items to the agenda and approve the agenda as amended. I'll second it. We have the motion and the second. Any discussion or question? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The consent agenda includes the minutes of the March 23rd meeting, also payroll of $372,115.34, abatements of $10,166.98. I move to approve the consent agenda. Second. We have the motion and second for approval of the consent agenda. Any discussion or question? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The next item we have, uh, commission comments, Ron. Uh, Monday night, uh, we did have a township meeting with the townships here in Dickinson County, and I, I thought it went over pretty well, and uh, a lot of good information. I see a lot of people, so I, I really think it was a great success for Dickinson County. Yes, Craig. Yeah, I also attended it. I'll be uh, attending the North Central Regional Planning Commission by Zoom at two o'clock this afternoon. Uh, I did have some calls. I won't mention the township, uh, two calls, but I didn't have some I had two, uh, about the condition of the roads. Yeah. So, and I told them they needed to contact their township trustee to see in charge of the roads. And we also did have at the, the three townships up at the northern part uh, get together after the meeting to talk about the the say what their responsibilities are for improving roads that aren't have been used for a while and then access to the properties that people are buying up there. That's all I have. Man. Okay. Um, just have a few things here. Um, there is a Dixon County retreat that I'll be attending, and I think Janelle's probably going to cover that in her report, uh, and that's next Monday. And then also, I plan to attend the Salina Chamber event, um, and that's going to be in Salina uh, on Tuesday. And then we also have a regional highway meeting uh, that I'll be attending, I think, other commissioners and Janelle and um, so that comes on, on Wednesday, I believe. That's all I have. Um, earlier today, we did have Martin Tannehill in here and um, he kind of gave us an update on, on roads and bridges and some of the discussion on that. We had a good discussion and also information um, on the availability of rock. You, you kind of take those things for granted and um, and and yet you know it's kind of the supply other counties um are are pre-purchasing some of the the gravel and it's not available as much as as before um but also we do have a good source over at zendale and so he's um, getting some rock from that quarry and mentioned actually it's a, a clear rock appears to be washed better cleaner rock and maybe the hardness factor is a little bit greater so even though it's a little bit of an extra drive, um, we might be gaining more value there for the time being. And so uh, he's kind of solving that problem that came up and uh, appreciated that information. This would be opportunity now. We do not have petitions or pro proclamations, but if there's anyone that would want to have a public comment, you would just need to give your name and address and on any item that is not on the agenda, this would be opportunity for that now. 
We do not have any public comments, so we're going to go ahead and move on to our reports from county officers or county administrator, Mayor Dockendorf, if you'd give your report, please. Absolutely. So the highway department started work on 3400 Avenue this week. The road will be closed between Deer Road and Eden Road for bridge replacement. That's going to take some time, several months to for that replacement. And as you just noted, we are hauling rock from the quarry in Zendale, so we'll see an increase in the fuel line item. Hopefully we can offset some of that cost. GovBuilt uh, will go live this week, and that's an online permitting for zoning and highway permits. And we're hoping to use it for some other permits that we require, like the fireworks permit, on uh, some scheduling and whatnot. So I think it would be a, a benefit to our citizens. They can just go online and fill out the permit information and then it goes to the correct department and then works between those departments as well. And I do have a couple staff members that are attending a long-term recovery disaster training today. Chancy and Marcus are both there. So trying to plan for um, upcoming disasters and also as you said the items for agenda but we do have a retreat where we're bringing in all of the managers and elected officials to talk about what we plan to to work on this year what our goals are what are what we want to look like uh, as we're going into budget i think that's very important and then we'll ask the commission to come in as well and, and uh, visit with us on that um, see where we're all at on that and that's all i have right now Okay, thank you. You might uh, I see on the uh, future events, uh, April 25th through 27th. Right. We're going to try to do that Friday after or you skip that to with payroll or when it's signed. We can see if we can do that um, because the, it goes till noon on, Thursday. On, on Friday, I thought. Thursday. On Thursday, that's right. So, um, well, I mean, I'm just. Mm -hmm. We need to plan for yeah. that. So, well, Come up with some plan right. next week yeah, before we go was, actually yeah. yeah okay yes and i do plan to attend that event and mm -hmm. yeah. i assume no. right at least two of us would be there and uh okay and you know on that i i don't know that i would go to the early session they had one on succession plannings um they i that's fine and yeah, I'm like, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I think I have to leave by eight. And yes. Get out there and the We've been on that discussion before, right. actually. And so, okay. If anybody ought to go, it'd be Janelle. Well, I was going to ask if yeah, I'm mean, comfortable with that. I will. Yeah, I mean, if you want to, I mean, I'm not going to say you have to. Okay. So. Although that's kind of what I'm hearing. Well, <laughs> is there any other staff going or? Yeah, for hearing aid. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I will get signed up for it. But you'll be here. Yes. After we're gone. Okay. Okay. Uh, our county councilor, Doug. Uh, we're moving forward uh, towards the tax sale. Uh, we have uh, court appearances on April the 5th in front of Judge, uh, uh, I think it'll be in front of Judge Roger. And uh, what happens at that time is if those haven't been redeemed, paid up current, I should say, not redeemed, but paid up current, why then they'll be moving towards uh, the filing of the uh, order, and that will cause $550 to each of those those um, individuals that have fallen behind. And so we're hoping that, that they will uh, get those taken care of. Now, I checked with Leah just a little bit ago, and she said there was another six or seven that had been paid off uh, yesterday or this morning. And so as soon as that gets to me, why then we'll reduce those numbers. But I'm anticipating right now, uh, without subtracting the six or seven here, that they're at about 70 parcels. That's quite a few. Hmm. And so hopefully they can get uh, taken care of before we have to take judgment and then move forward with a sell after that. That's all I got. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Under notices and communications, uh, we have our quarterly newsletter from North Central Regional Planning Commission and gives us a little bit of an update on items they're working on. Uh, we've also received our newspaper from the county news, which gives a little bit about what's going on nationally. We did have 
a couple of emails that had come in and they were just in regards to um, one was concerned about the proposed wind turbines and one of the wanted consideration towards a moratorium being placed on that until some of the safety and other issues can be investigated and also the size and the heights and they had had sent us a chart that gives an idea of, of how tall some of those are and I guess sometimes they vary from one um, area to another and so we also did receive a a pamphlet on infrastructure development and um, and it's kind of pointing out another viewpoint on that that um, they had the wind turbines and that it actually the wind energy had had a positive economic impact and um, it was helpful that they were actually able to um, lower their tax rate and um, and told where some of that money monies potentially could go to so uh, as that issue gets closer to to coming to the county and there's discussions and activity that's taking place um, throughout the county and um, i'm sure we'll receive additional information on that I believe that's all I had as far as notices and communications. Was there any other comments that any of you had received or information that you needed to share in regards to that? So we'll go ahead and move on. The next item we have is to uh, consider a resolution. We do have a resolution and this is kind of a housekeeping type item, but it's a resolution to declare surplus property on March 2023, and we do have a list of that property. Uh, so now, would you want to provide additional information, please? Absolutely. This includes the 40-foot link belt crane, uh, 2008 belly dump trailer, a dovetra dovetail trailer, an F-150 pickup with topper and, and uh, surveillance equipment, several IT things like scanners, cameras, speakers, watch guard, mic pack with uh, charging stations. A lot of it came from old items that the sheriff's department is no longer able to use and all on old vehicles that just, it won't work on the vehicles that we currently have. We've got a DVD player, kennels and things. So we're just trying to do some cleanup. So it'll be listed on uh, probably GovBelt. Gov deals, pardon me, Gov deals. We have too many Gov things going on and uh, have a surplus auction for that. So this is just part, like you said, the housekeeping to declare it surplus and then have the sale. So some of the departments really have kind of cleaned things up and instead of storing them away or there's things that just aren't being used uh, currently. And once we do declare this as surplus, that gives us the ability to go ahead um, and assign them to Purple Wave or another type auction type group. And Purple Wave is what we're looking at now. No, no, we're we're looking at gut deals now. Okay, right. Um, um, the but it we're does. Looking at gut deals is we are able to set a minimum price on some of our bigger items like the frame to make sure that we receive at least that minimum dollar amount for that. How do you determine? The minimum dollar value on that. They would help us determine that, plus I would also rely on our mechanics. Okay, and the reason I bring that up because then we would need to change this because in the last it, line it says we're utilizing the line public auction service of Purple Wave. I will make sure um, that gets um, correct and yes. So we need to amend that. Yeah, amend that to save dev deals. Okay, and I think Purple Wave has uh, served us well, but mm -hmm. but having more than one option to see how that happens to work and depending on what the items are, right. we can determine uh, whenever we have surplus, which one we're gonna use. And I think unless you want to put a floor under it, that'd be the only reason we go with that deal. I mean, because mm -hmm. I don't like Purple Wave, they don't have a, you, when you put a carriage. Right, it's just- you know, no, no reserve. No, exactly. Um, should we just have it read and or? We could do that. And, and, and that way, if there is a particular item uh, you know, some of these are so minimal that um, mm -hmm. 
but that gives us the ability of exactly and and if something doesn't reach the limit on gov deals that would give us the, mm -hmm. the mechanism to go ahead and just switch it over to purple wave right we could do that for anything unsold mm -hmm. okay so we're going to making that change um that will be made on the wording um that it's not exclusive purple wave but it'd be gov deal and or purple wave mm -hmm. And the resolution on that will be 033023. Correct. Is there a motion to approve that resolution for surplus property? I'll make that motion on 033023. Okay. We have the motion in the second. Any discussion further on this? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The next item we have, uh, we'll move on. Uh, there's no unfinished business. We did have two items that we added to the agenda. And the first one is in regards to the bridge work on Ebert construction. And so once again, Janelle, if you'll give us the background on that. So if you recall, two weeks ago, we had uh, our bridge inspections and they KDOT notified us of a critical bridge that uh, needed to have repairs done. And that was at 605 1700 Avenue. Martin reached out, since this is an emergency repair, Martin reached out to Ebert construction and asked them to give us a quote and what we're going to do is encase the, pair, the piers. There's four piers that will need to be encased, and this will uh, stabilize it. They will also look at the load rating. Ebert came back with a quote of $77,861.20, and that also includes the county providing the riprap and delivering it and access surfacing, so they'll make sure that the Eberts can get down to where the work needs to be taken care of, and then if we have to pro provide any reinforcing steel, that, that will be on us as well. So uh, 77,861 is a better price than what we were anticipating. We were thinking it would be 100,000 at, at minimum. And it looks like they'll be able to get in this summer to get that taken care of. Now, I will say that the bridge is still able to be passed over. There's, there's no issue there. This is something that we just need to move up on our list to have repairs done sooner rather than later or so. And Martin had mentioned that the county is going to have some of the riprap placed out there and we'll take care of that. And so that probably helps us a little bit on our bid. Yes. Um, and the other thing I'll go ahead and mention, kind of in addition, uh, we do regularly inspect all bridges. And this is an example of where a bridge was inspected. And especially with the uh, water level being a little bit low, it exposed some of the damage there more easily so visually we had pictures and right and um so so it's it's necessary to replace the bridge but um, also the the safety of the bridges is, is something we pay attention to okay we have the bid 77,861.20 from ebert construction of Wamego. i'd move that we approve that bid i'll second it we have the motion second any other discussion yeah I see their anticipated work schedule is 10 days per week. We're going to have to have, we're going to have some overtime and it's probably then. That is uh, very possible. Yes. Uh, all surveying traffic control. So we'll have to have people out there for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, they are what surveying. Are they what are you, would they, any time, you know, they can take two weeks, a week. They're, they're, I should have asked this earlier, you know, I'm sorry. You know, you know what their time frame is for this. You know, he doesn't say on that. So and, I that yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm, we're going to have to go with it, but I would quick. find out. Yeah. Because yeah. I thought he, yeah, no, he doesn't yeah. have that in here. And I don't think Martin said that. Maybe before we deliver that contract to them, mm -hmm. that question could be asked. And if there was something right. unusual about the time frame. Right. I see temporary shoring that, that can be reduced from the. They may not need it, so I mean, there is a step here. Right. Okay. Okay, we have the motion second. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The next item we have, uh, once again, Janelle, this is for electrical work. So, if you recall, we put up a new building at the highway department to replace the Quonset hut that I'm surprised that the, the uh, roof hadn't caved in. And uh, 
we would like to include electrical work in there. So we, Martin reached out, he asked for three bids. We were only able to receive two and that's for a 100 amp single phase panel along with a two pole eye line and a 100 amp breaker. And that's for the four, four high bays and eight truck, plug, truck plugs because we'll be able to plug our equipment in there. If I can see, say that right. And then two door openers, I guess the doors are quite heavy and it's hard to open them up uh, individually. And then all the pipe and wiring uh, needed for that. The owners will cut the concrete and remove the, the uh, patch back so they can uh, install the electrical. We'll run it along the, uh, the um, yeah, the name just escapes me, I apologize. And steel, I'm sorry, the frame. We'll run it along the frame and so it'll be um, easily installed there. So that will help. They should be able to bore underneath the footings. Well, I thought Martin said that they were going to install it along that. Well, I know, but I mean, I've, oh, yes, yes, underneath the, yeah, they'll, they'll yeah. bring it underground and bring underground it in. And put it there. So, yes, they'll, they'll be able to do that. So, we did receive the two bids one from Lender Electric for $9,845.40, and the other from JA Electric for $11,957.23. So, our recommendation would be to go with Lender Electric. Yeah, because there was already lights installed in there right we just need to yeah, power to the garage doors and stuff exactly and putting the extra plug in and stuff in. right i mean we accept the bid for lenders for nine thousand whatever Daniel quoted nine thousand eight forty five and forty cents yeah mm -hmm. i'll second that okay we have the motion we have the second for approval of the low bid for the electrical work from lender nine thousand eight hundred forty five dollars and forty cents any other discussion or question all in favor say aye aye, aye. opposed motion carries is there any, any other business to bring before the commission before we have executive or executive session the executive session is to discuss non-elected personnel it will include the commissioners uh, Doug Thompson, Forest Roads, Jerry Davis, uh, Marcia and Janelle. Okay, got a whole gathering here. Yeah, that was there um, Okay, I would go ahead and move that we go into executive session at 11:23, and it will be for one hour, so it'll be till 12:23. I'll second that. We have the motion. We have the second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We'll leave regular session and go into executive session at 23.